in the previous sections we have studied problems on venturi meter now we know venturi meter is a device to calculate the flow of a fluid as well as we have seen what is bernoulli's equation now let us see what happens when this venturi meter is inclined to a surface The problem over here states that find the discharge of water flowing through a pipe of 30 cm diameter placed in an inclined position venturi meter inserted in having a is inserted having a throat of diameter throat diameter 15 cm so throat diameter is given to us and the diameter of the pipe is given to us more importantly what is given to us over here it is inclined the difference in the pressure between the main and the throat is measured in a liquid having specific gravity 0.6. Now, in a U-tube manometer, the specific gravity of the fluid which we use that is mercury is 13.6. This is the first problem where the specific gravity of the liquid is less than the specific gravity of water so that time we need to modify our formula of h to calculate the difference in the two levels of the fluid is inverted tube u tube gives the reading of 30 centimeters so the reading in the u tube manometer is 30 centimeter the loss between the main and the throat is 0 time 0 0.2 times the kinetic energy head the head loss is 0 0.2 times the kinetic energy head we have to calculate the discharge over here so over here let us see how we can calculate the discharge for that we have given few data over here so let us write down the data that is the diameter so the data what is given to us the diameter of the pipe uh, d1 is given to us that is a 0 0.3 meters and d2 is given to us that is the uh, diameter of the throat that is 0 0.15 centimeters so that is 0 0.15 meters so this is what is given to us then we can calculate its corresponding area a1 which will uh, give us as 706.85 into 10 to power minus 4 meter square similarly a2 is equals to 176.7 into 10 to power minus 4 meter square that is the corresponding area a2 area of the throat cross sectional area of the pipe now we know that the value of x is given us as 30 centimeter so this is a 0 0.3 meter along with that a few other values are given that is in the manometer the specific gravity of liquid is given to us is a 0 0.6 and the water which is um, and the fluid which is used is water having specific gravity 1 so when we have this kind of condition we have to apply this formula x is equals to or rather not x h is equals to x into s of liquid upon s of water minus minus of s of liquid plus 1 rather we can write this as h is equals to x into 1 minus s of liquid upon s of water so our previous formula which we had that was related to the manometer which is having a fluid which is heavier than the water but here the fluid is lighter than the water so cal on calculation of this so this is a 0 0.3 into 1 minus of 0 0.6 upon 1 so we already know what is specific gravity over here so h comes out to be 0 0.12 meters or 15 or 12 cent uh, 12 centimeters so we have calculated the value of h now to calculate discharge first we need to see what is Bernoulli's equation so now if we apply Bernoulli's equation so this can be written as before applying Bernoulli's equation so the venturi meter is inclined so over here what we can do is for drawing this part 
uh, let us draw an inclined venturi meter so this is what is the diameter of the pipe this diameter of the pipe is connected to converging cone and then we have the throat over here and we have the diverging cone mind you the slope over here of the diverging cone is very small and then the pipe is connected so now this pipe is inclined so this is a section 1 1 and this is a section 2 2 the throat starts here ends over here this is a diverging cone section 2 2 so if we apply Bernoulli's equation over here we can write p1 upon rho g plus v1 square by 2g plus z1 is equals to p2 by rho g plus v1 square by 2g plus z2 plus the head loss which is specified in the problem so over here the head loss is given to us in the problem is 0.2 times the kinetic energy head of the pipe so pipe has a diameter of d1 and it has an area of cross section of a1 so this is a v1 square by 2g so hence we'll have for a pipe velocity is v1 that is the head loss so we'll substitute over here so <clears throat> this can be written as p1 upon rho g plus a v1 square by 2g plus a z1 is equals to p2 by rho g plus v2 square or this is v2 square by 2g plus z2 plus 0.2 v2 square by 2 v1 square by 2g so over here we know that the value of h value of h is equals to p1 upon rho g minus p2 upon rho g plus z1 minus z2 that is the height in the manometer for this inclined for this in uh, for this inclined venturi meter so over here we can write this part as equals to p1 minus p2 upon rho g plus v1 minus v2 v1 square upon v2 square by 2g plus z1 minus z2 is equals to 0.2 v2 square by 2g uh, v1 square by 2g so over here we can replace p1 minus p2 and z1 minus z2 by the value of h so we already know the value of h height in the manometer will be the difference in this level so we have already calculated this value of h is equals to 0 0.12 plus v1 square by 2g minus v2 square by 2g is equals to 0 0.2 v1 square by 2g so we have calculated that so now to simplify this we'll take this term on the other side and we'll minus with that so this is 0 0.12 plus 0 0.8 v1 square by 2g minus v2 square by 2g is equals to 0 now in this equation so this equation we have got this equation now what we'll do we'll calculate what is relationship between v1 and v2 so to calculate the relationship between v1 and v2 we'll use continuity equation q is equals to a1 v1 is equals to a2 v2 so this can be written as area a1 we have first evaluated that is a 706 point 85 into 10 to power minus 4 into uh, v1 is equals to 176.7 into 10 to power minus 4 into v2 so over here on evaluation of this part we'll get v1 
in terms of v2 or v2 in terms of v1 so v1 will be equals to v2 upon 4 or 0.25 times v2 so we'll substitute the value of v1 in this equation and we'll evaluate the value of v2 so over here we'll just substitute the value so this is 0 0.12 plus 0 0.8 into 0 0.25 v2 the whole square upon 2g minus v2 square by 2g is equals to 0 so when we evaluate this part, the value of velocity comes out to be as V2 is equals to 1.57 meters per second and the discharge will be A2 into V2. So this is equals to 176.7 into 10 to power minus 4 into 1.57. So the discharge will come out to be as 27.8 into 10 raised to minus 3. 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube per second or Q is equals to 27.8 liters per second. So we have calculated the discharge as well as we have calculated the velocity. So in this problem the only thing which was unique over here is that the fluid which was used for measuring pressure on an inclined plane had a specific gravity less than that of water so hence we have to modify our formula for a fluid which has less uh, specific gravity uh, than water for youtube manometer so i hope you have understood how we have calculated the discharge for an inclined venturi meter thank you